So this is our rattlesnake. Uh, this is the timber rattlesnake that I'm going to grab next. This is No, I don't think so. This is a confiscated one from This one actually came from. Uh, I think it came from Indiana. Oh, this came from Indiana? I think so. I thought this came from the Snake Man of the Appalachian. I don't think so. Oh, we could check, but I don't think so. Oh, Alright, so timber rattlesnakes are what we have living throughout most of Kentucky. We do have we do have a pygmy rattlesnake uh, living in western Kentucky. And he, I can't believe he's rattled. Of all the snakes that was going to rattle, I would not have guessed that was the one to do it, but he doesn't like it. <laughs> 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 That's really funny. Um, <laughs> this is the only snake that we use in programs out of this whole group. This snake travels all the time, almost every week he's in front of a school group. He hardly ever rattles, so of all of them, I'm surprised that he decided to rattle today. Um, maybe it's because he was stressed out yesterday with all you guys looking at him. And all joking aside, the only deaths we've had in the state of Kentucky have been religious snake handlers because of delay of treatment. Um, the last death we had, the lady took a bite to the face. Face or the throat? Face to the throat. Multiple bites. And the airway swelled shut and she passed away. Yeah. And I actually figured I had to talk a little bit about venom when I talked about rattlesnakes. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, in Kentucky we have had 12. Is that right? Yeah, 15? 12 since in 20 years. Yeah. There's been 12 deaths from snake bite in the state. All of them were religious snake handlers, and they were all timber rattlesnakes. No, one was no. a western duck. Oh, one was a western duck. Okay, excuse me. It was a facial bite also. Yeah. Dangling rattlesnakes around your head is a bad idea. Um, <laughs> most people, and I'm sure you guys, <laughs> sure you guys know this, but most people who are bitten by snakes in the United States are bitten on the hand, and unfortunately now I'm one of those statistics. Um, <laughs> Most of them are... Except you're not a male. I was just going to say that. Most of them are men between the ages of 6 and 15. <laughs> and young men between the ages of 18 to 25. And what's your line about that? Consuming alcohol. <laughs> testosterone. <laughs> alcohol. Yep. And Dr. Sherman Men said this. I didn't say this. And two tattoos and you have those snake bite. <laughs> <laughs> I think also it involves showing off for the nearby female. Uh, now we have to add YouTube. Yeah. Because almost yeah. every time we see somebody on YouTube handling a snake, especially for the first time or showing off to be the next Steve Irwin, yeah. we hear, look at this, ouch. And then, the snake. And then the camera goes off. Now, <laughs> women are very rarely bitten by snakes. <laughs> Except for one age group. 70 and above. Now, do you all think little old ladies have lost their minds? It's not it's not because I can't see though, that's a good guess. But old men can't see either, right? So, <laughs> so anybody think they know? Why are older women bitten more than older men? You know. What do you think? Maybe they do a lot of gardening. That's exactly right. Yep. They tend to be the ones that are in the garden and they don't mean to get close to the snake, they stick their hand under the Wait a minute, I got something else. Women live longer than men that's right. <laughs> <laughs> The statistic has already taken that into account. 